Welcome to Progress episode 46, brand new progressive house, melodic techno and progressive breaks. Sean Sturr, thank you for the raid, welcome in Progress family, DJ Paul Kelly, Axo, NT Demon, Phil Baxley, Nick MCC, Sean Sturr himself, King of the Mods and Nasser there mate, Nick MCC, I said you already, Stephen Barrow, Four weeks to go until episode 50. Six weeks to go until we hit episode 52. And then we'll have been doing this for a year. Pretty bonkers, if you ask me. Hope you're all good tonight. Hope you're in the mood for some lovely new tunes. The crate is overflowing as per usual. RJ Whittams, what up? DJ Nigel, Nick's in the mix. Nice moody number to start us off. Closed circle mantra on Click Records. Just to let you know, if you miss any of the track IDs, we have various ways for them to happen. Firstly, we have the sequence overlay on Twitch, so you look for the B-Port logo, click on that and you can see my tracks, but unfortunately it doesn't generally pick up the brand new stuff and this show is all brand new stuff, so may or may not work. I also post the track listings to mojax.com. I put them on the YouTube upload, which goes up towards the weekend or after the weekend. And I make a Spotify playlist out of everything that I play tonight. And I that's a public playlist, so follow me on Spotify and you can check that out for yourself. Big up all the Ray Train gang, Slash V, Axo, Seanster, and then we're off to Nick's in the Mix after me. I had to get this one in. This is a favourite artist amongst the Progress family, Frankie Wa. This one with Atho. Should have seen it coming on Anjuna Deep. Well, I must admit, though, I, I've gone for the instrumental. The vocal's all right, but you know me. If there is an instrumental or a dub, I'm probably going to pick that nine times out of ten. DJ Nigel, the Spotify thing, all you do, if you're playing from Beatport Link, then you just use a uh, sort of web app called Soundies. Sound I-I-Z. It's free to use for one playlist at a time. You just convert it to Spotify and make it public. Job done. Reverend Functology with a bit. Thank you very much. Tonight's classic is, oh my word. We're going 140 BPM for the classic tonight. Yeah, we're back up. We're, we're in that in that zone. We'll wait 90 minutes for that. Nixon and then mix with the bits. Thank you.
quick one. Final always, I, I hear you on the, the Model 1.4, which I love deeply. It's, it's, it is changing the way I play. It's making me play differently. That's not like bullshit nonsense. But it does only have two phono preamps, so if you want to play three turntables, you're kind of out of luck. You could add a third one, you know, a separate preamp, but it's not going to sound the same, is it? don't know. Tricky, that one. talk a lot at the start but you know that tune it's only 120 bpm so i had to come in early but i just had to let that one roll a little bit once again frankie wah featuring atho should have seen it coming on anjuna deep that's the instrumental mix this one new on heinz music a favorite label of mine haven't seen them for a minute this one eric rose eclipse technicals of my own this evening because the model 1.4 does not have a sound card in it i have to use the combined you know asio thing with the cdj so they they are the sound cards just to use beatport or beat source link or in record box you have to use performance mode so i thought i want to get the laptop over out of the way so i use really long usb cables no no don't do that DJs have always been a bit funny about HID mode. I remember a few times back in the day with the like original 2000s trying to plug them into a USB hub and they just lost their minds completely. Turns out they're still a bit fussy about USB. Oh well, so the laptop's in front of me, but never mind. Kelly, Vito Music, Digital Ecstasy, the gang's all here.
progress term for this tune. Belter. tonight was it was no struggle like yesterday when I sat down to load up the playlist for tonight it was like yep yep that one that one that one that one that one that one not a challenge so much great music out this week Eric Rose Eclipse on Heinz Music. All right, so I found out about Sequence a bit this week. The thing with Sequence is they have to, because of the way it works, it's a bit like a streaming service. They have to ingest all the new stuff as it comes out in the same way that we do with BeatSource. You know, we get it from the labels and it comes in and we have to ingest it into our system. Sequence kind of needs to do that as well. So the brand new stuff, it doesn't matter the genre. The reason it picks up all my stuff on Sundays is because very few of those tracks are brand, brand new like this week. Whereas this is all brand new and it's probably not in the sequence system yet. So there you go. It explains it. But do not fear, there are plenty of ways, as I explained, to get the track list for tonight's show. All about sharing this music supporting these artists and these labels in these times like this guy more tagwa telos on timeless moment Toby One, make sure you're following Toby One. Badman Selector. Another one like NASA who escaped the gloomy climate in the UK. So salute to you, Phil McCrack in 1973. My brother Mike Marquez with the bits. Thank you so much, dude. Are we going to get a hype train rolling tonight? That is the question. Normally would have had it by now.
followed you with a bit, thank you. Moby One, that's what this is all about. It's a, this show is about introducing brand new releases all out this week. Just vibing out on a Wednesday night. DJ Nick's girlfriend with a bit. Rolling DJ Nix in the mix with the bits. DJ Nix girlfriend more bits. Oh gosh, here we go. very brief Toby one because I explained this to Andy Smith's crew came in the chat last week I, basically I can't play vinyl on stream because the studio is in a residential area I can't play loud and I have to do it all in the headphones and I cannot play vinyl in the headphones I need a big monitor so yeah I am doing a wax nerds raid train in a few weeks time so I'll play 45 cents trying to speak to me in Spanish. I don't speak different languages, Mike. Who do you think I am, bruv? <laughs> I haven't actually addressed this on stream in my voice because on Sunday I streamed, obviously, with no microphone. That's what we do on a Sunday, Subway Sunday. Yeah, Friday night I did play a, like a Vaporwave set and it was all static on the screen and there was no... I didn't talk, I didn't chat and I only spoke in Japanese. The stream was titled in Japanese. And people, a lot of people, like Nick's in the Mix, for example, genuinely thought I'd been hacked. Whereas, in fact, it was just me doing an artsy, like, weird thing. You lot should know by now, I'm into some weird stuff. If you see a, a, a load of static on my channel and then, like, Japanese 80s TV commercials playing, just the audio of those, that's probably going to be me. Do not fear. It's because Aphex Twin warped my mind as a teenager. That's what it, I blame it on Aphex Twin. But I'd like to think it was a moment and he had to be there. Uh, yeah, Mortagua Telos on Timeless Moment. This one on family name. Mudes and Arias Titan. Yeah, NASA actually like phoned me. What's going on with your channel? Yeah. <laughs> What's funny was someone was like, oh he's done a spreadsheet full of like Japanese translations to put in the comments and I, I basically had I did a word document loads of random like song lyrics and stuff translated into Japanese it wasn't meant to be funny it was meant to be like weird but like it became funny because you all were just so freaked out seemingly of course
Five Train Gang, I guess it was destined not to be tonight. Too busy talking to hype the hype train and playing this amazing music. So much appreciated. Welcome to the Twitch fan proper. Oh, there's Dean Guest. Sean, a shout out for Dean Guest, please. other night I locked into Dean Guest. My man is a sick DJ. No lie. He is a sick DJ. Days and Arias Titan on family name. Subscribers, you know what time it is. And this week I did get time to do the jingle on it, so we're going to do it properly. It's time to hear from the most productive man in Progressive House. This is the Stan Kolev Record of the Week on Program. Stankolev record then Ruben Kanapatean Hathor Stankolev on the remix on movement recordings the usual standard Stankolev quality as we've come to expect Progress Thank you. 
Stan. Well, firstly, yeah, Mike Marquez is, is like in touch with Stan, so we're just going to leave that there for now. But secondly, like, yeah, I get this new track every week, and it always occurs to me, Daddy S9, thank you for the raid, welcome Raiders. Like, if this wasn't the Stan Kolev record of the week, I'd still add it to the crate for tonight. There's never been a week when I'm like, oh, I'm forcing it tonight, or I have to get, I have to put the Stan record in, oh no. Every week, just quality. Mike, you were dropping the hints. He's trying. He's, uh, whether I'm going to connect with him or not is a different story. connects now because his DJ's after dark thing is so good please if you're not following Mike Marquez please make sure you are firstly he's doing all these live from New York in the snow streams but his DJ's after dark is really good Ruben Karapatean Hathor, Stan Kolev on the remix on Movement Recordings. This one, I felt really bad about this. Horisky had a new tune out last week on Full Tilt, right? Great. He's got a new tune out this week on Mere Music. But what's happened is basically the digital equivalent of a misprint on the label. It's gone out to all the digital services like Beatport, iTunes, Spotify. And the track is called Emotion, but on those services, it's just called Horisky by Horisky. So you should track this tune down, but yeah, don't be surprised if it's got the wrong name on it. It's another beauty.
Ireland's finest, Horisky. The track is actually called Emotion. But on all the services, it is called Horisky. Either way, look it up. Mere Music. This one on Manual Deep. Gate 44. Thinking as we head into that break zone once again. everybody but oh, oh. it's a bit special like and yes it is tiny tiny mixer it's not as big as like a dj ms9 is that small sound like it's my 50th birthday which it definitely is not I'd just like to point out I am old I'm not that old yet but we're going to do something for 52 I think not for 50 because I think in these times the uh, the year is the more important kind of milestone I think
Again, that one, Gate 44, with Thinking on Manual Deep. This one on Upon Access, made in Paris, Nodus. I have got a few contenders from like the regular, the usual kind of labels tonight, which I'm trying to avoid. We're trying to do different, different stuff tonight. Give some other labels some shine. Hey, listen, nothing wrong with being 50, right? I'm just, I'm not 50. <laughs> very large proportion of the DJs that I look to, look up to and respect are now well in their 50s so I've got no issue with that CDJs or Denon. Right now, the Denons actually do kind of more stuff that I like. They do streaming built in and stuff, and they have spinning platters. But these are still really, really lovely. In the past year, I have told different people to buy different ones out of the two. They're like, should I buy Denon or should I buy CDJs? Some people I tell to buy the CDJs, some people I tell to buy Prime Series, because it's suitable for different people. strokes for different folks like Seanster I was like you definitely need to buy the SC6000 Seanster because of the stuff they can do the way you're going to work with them Richard Tulip who's often around here he ended up after speaking to me he bought the CDJs because for him he uses them for events and stuff it makes more sense for him to have CDJs there's, there's horses for courses it's very very true in the end, just buy what you like. That is very good advice that NASA posted above. Again, that one was made in Paris with Nodus on upon access. This one, Framework, Oh Baby on Capital Heaven.
Rogue Drum.
behind these here CDJ 3000s. Help me troubleshoot my USB cable issues earlier tonight. get a lot of play from me, Blaufeld Music, Booker Shade, Holly Scattergood, Perpetual Light. <laughs> Professor VX, yeah. Crossfader, it might be the only mixer I need, but it definitely isn't because it doesn't. We have 
gone past the hour mark, by the way. 27 minutes to go on the show tonight. And we're off to Ray, DJ Nick's in the mix. More progressive vibes into the night. Sean's still with the bits. Cheers, brother. It's that extra level of, I know that channel's definitely off. I can do stuff with it. It's like a visual guide. Scatter good perpetual light on Blaufeld music. Another little breaksy number as we up the tempo a little bit towards the end of the show. And then tonight's classic, yes, it is 140 BPM for real.
Mais. Sellout, C-E-L-L. Terminate this tape on Sellout Records. What a tune that is. I, I will admit, I said this last week, that they've rearranged all the genres on Beatport. So now all the break stuff is in like breaks and UK bass and stuff. And I thought that was going to be worse. It's actually like 20 times better. It's so much easier to find the breaks that I want to hear now. Before I'd have to dig around in like left field house and techno places like that to try and find the breaks I wanted. Now I can just find them. This one on Black Hole Recordings from one of the finest progressive house artists who's ever lived, BT. This is never odd or even grum on the remix. Tune this. Live and direct from the UK, this is the sound of progress with Mojax.
re up in on the sub. What up, dudes? Quality drum and bass DJ. Make sure you follow it if you are not. Yeah, grooving DJ. The stand track is always 10.30 UK. 30 minutes into the show. It's his tradition. Indeed, that one, but I love it. BT, never odd or even grum on the remix of Black Hole Recordings. BG DMB, yeah, I got into some of that Shingo Nakamura when I was first putting this show together nearly a year ago. This stuff's really good. Very rare that I'll play two tracks from the same artist in one show. But he's got two out this week, so I'm going to do it. This is uh, Integral Bread, which is a great artist's name. The track is Tahish. Univac Records. And it's more Tagwa on the remix. We're back to more Tagwa again. I haven't played any of his stuff for a while, though, so, you know... If he's got two tracks out in a week, he deserves the two plays. Tagwa fan. I was a bit worried you might have played one of these two tracks tonight already, Seanster. And that's it, the show's gone. The classic is up next, and then we out. Off to DJ Nick's in a mix.
20 past 11. I, I have to stop drinking Red Bull at some point during the day. Big up DJ Candyman UK. So it takes me, you know, like half an hour to get out of here, get home. I don't normally go to bed till about one, two, <laughs> depending. Love this one. Integral Bread, Tahish, Mortagua on the remix on Univac. A reminder, if, the, if you miss a track ID or the sequence overlay doesn't pick it up, I do put the track listings on mojax.com. They go up with the YouTube replay when that goes up around the weekend. And if you follow me, Mojax on Spotify, I have public playlists for all the recent shows converted from Beatport Link to public Spotify playlist so you can fill your boots. Salute DJ Pulse. talk that much over the last tune because of the structure of it so I'm going to do the sort of the housekeeping now I'll be back on Friday I think for another pop up I think we're going to start doing Fridays on the regular but the next proper show is Sunday Sub Bass Sunday episode 11 three hours of liquid deep drum and bass in the mix no mic unless we get a raid It is my little therapy session at the end of the week. It's yeah, it's a special session. Got a raid off John B last week, which was epic. Really enjoy that show almost as much as this one. It's it's a tough call, but now this one takes it ultimately. This is the one that's all about the family and chatting to you lot and just having a nice time, connecting with you all. So tonight's classic then, right? We are going 140 BPM. This is a tribute to basically Paul Oakenfold, who, you know, everyone who's into this kind of music owes him a lot because he broke some new, new sounds into the game. You can't deny, right? Whether you like him or love him or hate him, he brought some sounds into the game. Anna Banana, I'm about to finish in about five minutes I'm afraid um, so yeah this is from his time when he went to Goa and just bought back Goa Trance and made that really popular and it's by Man With No Name and it's not the big one Fluorescence this is Sugar Rush I used to share a house with a couple of like middle aged hippies Phil and Sally and yeah Phil used to bang this like go a trance like vibes all the time and uh, not all of it was my cup of tea but this 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 one let's do it to raid DJ Nick's in the mix after this tune. Progressive house vibes continue into the night.
this one for the record. about because it was pre- before DJ CD players really all the Goa trance DJs used to play off like portable DAP players because the vinyl used to warp in the heat that's what I remember from like music or mix mag at the time just yeah never quite my sound but this one in particular this one spoke to me it's that tweaky that, that like guitar sound to DJ Nix in the mix in one minute's time thank you once again for locking in new people all the regulars the progress family Shawster slash B and Axo for the warm ups tonight whatever you're doing with the rest of your week stay safe look after yourselves there is light at the end of the tunnel people we will get there together I'll see you on the weekend alright stay safe I need to hear about these stories. See you on the other side.